So in this box, we have the world's fastest radio controlled boat. And in this video, we're gonna unbox it, set it up, and then take it out for a rip. So this boat is supposed to go 110 mile an hour. And in a minute, we're gonna see if it actually can. And to help me, we have a boating expert to make sure that we do everything safely. But first, we need to install some stuff. This boat comes with twin brushless motors, twin speed controllers. Each one can take six S LiPos, so 12 cells combined. Guys, this is gonna be mental. So the motors and the speed controllers are water-cooled. I don't know what it's made of. It almost looks like carbon fiber or Kevlar or... But the overall quality of it is absolutely epic. So the instructions say to use a 14.8 volt LiPo one of these ones here, which is actually a four cell LiPo. But if we have a look on the speed controller, it says that we can do 6S, which is 22.8 volts. So that means more power. And we're gonna put two of these LiPos in there, so that's gonna be double the power. And I have no idea if it's gonna hold up, so in this video, we're gonna find out. So these two 6 cell LiPos, they fit in there perfectly. We do need to fit our own servo and radio gear. So I'm gonna use a trusty Dumbo radio and a JX EcoBoost servo. And if you wanna know where we can get the boat from, the the controller, the batteries, and everything else in this video, there's gonna be a link to all of that down below. Right, that's enough waffle. Let's get all that stuff fitted, and then we're gonna take it out for a whip. If you look here, look, the chassis of the boat is a tiny little bit too big for the servo, so it's got to trim a little bit out. Next, we have to cut off the battery connectors, so I can change them to the same ones that I run on all my batteries. Bye-bye, TFL warranty. There we go, moment of truth. I'm just gonna try it on a couple of free cell lipos first. Oh, that's only on free cell. Just wait till we get it on six cell. Who we got out here? Here he is. Has he got stamp approval? Yeah, man, that is sick. <laughs> Leave him alone, man. <laughs> got all the toys in the back. Not again! This one's not a submarine. What, 120 mile an hour submarine? No, this Why one, not? This one's not a submarine. That is definitely going to be a submarine. No. <laughs> I don't know. Have you broken? I think so. That's what it's like driving an Androver on 37 inch Trepidors. We have arrived! Crack him open, Stemp. Round two. We got the speed boat, we got oh. the... I already oh. stemped it already. Oh, you stemped it already. <laughs> I was about to say stemped it. Oh. Get him out, boy. Get the old lump out. Do your unboxing. Get it in gear. Is it? Oh, you all hold it up again. Some expert in the comments said if you rev it out of the water, yeah. then you knacker it. Well, that split second. Apparently so. Come on, where's the where's the muscles, boy? Nice. What's the word about that? <laughs> no, he goes my, to the gym. My hands are all slippery. He's a gym man. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <That's> so, <laughs> so reliable, mate. These engines. It weren't when you pushed me out. In the last video, a few people complained that we wasn't wearing the proper health and safety gear. Oh, all right. There you go. <laughs> what the hell is get, this? get him on, mate. Toucan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're not going up that river with all this crap. Yeah. If you fall in, you're going to drown. You need it. There's <laughs> 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 one, Kev. <laughs> oi, oi, Kev. Yeah. You, you need some safety equipment as well. I've got you something here. Oh, nice. Look, go with your T-shirt colour. <laughs> what have I got? I've got a, I've got a unicorn. <laughs> You've got a unicorn, Kev. <laughs> oh, that's not going on, is it? Why not? <laughs> well, look at that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneak your arm in now. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea is all this, Kev? What the viewers have you got it? safe? Oh, I suppose they care about us then. If you're sinking, you'll be glad you got this on. <laughs> oh, Sam, I've got your other one. Well, what's this now? <laughs> Life <laughs> ring. I stepped like pink here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy, Kev. Jesus. <laughs> oh, you farted. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Whose idea was to have all this PPE, man? We're well, off, boys. <laughs> <laughs> goes that way and look around now if it goes that way we're going to run this thing on 3s first see how fast it goes and if it's not fast enough then we're going to run it on 6s 
So here we go, we're starting off on two free cell lipos. Got GPS on there, got the GoPro on there. So those batteries are gonna just make it quick. It says you can run it on free cell. Yeah. So we're gonna start off on free cell, but the ESC says it can take six cell. Oh, so that's So we're gonna, gonna be... see how fast it goes on the free cell, and then we're gonna put the six cell in a bit later. Super duper quick then. Well, I don't know, it might blow up, it might go fast, it might it might even go 100 on those batteries, I don't know. <laughs> what happens? Oh, dude! <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be submarine, doesn't it? Kev, I hope we're not above a storm. I've got an umbrella, but it's in the car. <laughs> That's like thunder. Is that safe? <laughs> I don't know, bro. What with all this? Is that like an antenna? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Here we go. Go for it. Oh, that's going to go off. Oh, is it? Is it? <laughs> Oh, that's flat out. What? That's, that's not, not. That's not right. Nah, that can't be flat out, can it? Feels like it needs to change gear. How fast was that? That was 27. What? It was on six there, so that's only going to go 60. What's going on here then? I don't know, but something's not quite right. Stems go. Punch it by a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can bounce it like that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've ever set the GPS off because the GPS isn't waterproof. Yeah, no, he's definitely not waterproof. He's just turned off. <laughs> he? I yeah. think he's had it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I hold it, it might be able to push oh, the boat. Oh, move the boat? Yeah. Drive the boat, yeah. Go on in. Oh, man. Go on in, put it out. Oh, that's got more, that's got more power than this. <laughs> Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, we're losing the dinosaur. Yeah? <laughs> oh, oh no, he's yes. overboard. Oh no. <laughs> hold on, Kev. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, how did that come out here? Hell! Whoa. Water, I don't get it. Oh, oh she's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Oh, whoa! How did he come back? I don't know. So something's come loose, we don't have any tools, so we've got to make do. Do you not lock tight all this when you put it together? Well, I did that one, but this one was already on. Oh, right. Oh, it's thundering over there. My health and safety has deflated, and the rest of the health and safety is over there. Oh, you've got health and safety for this? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go through that. <laughs> Boom, just put the 6S's in there, 6S and 6S. Hopefully that's going to make it go about 55 mile an hour, but we're not going to know because our GPS died, it got wet. Is it going to go epic? Hopefully. <laughs> oh. oh, why is it steering by itself? I don't know. So I think water's gotten into the receiver and the servo, and they're not waterproof, so I think we're back to the drawing board on this one. Ignoring the interference issues, we decide to go anyway. Good, man. It's moving now. Yeah. I don't think it's moving 100, but... There you go. Oh! Steering now. go. Easy, easy. Don't crash it, man. It's fiberglass. Oh, well done. Oh! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh wait, that is a trick, that is. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what? If you're gonna... Oh, you idiot. electrics have got wet again, it's misbehaving. You're gonna have to change the receiver, aren't you? 
Oh, no, don't, 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 don't piss them off, Stem. You're very really vicious. I'm trying to get out of here. Here. Yeah. So it appears that the swans weren't hungry, or they don't like us. Oh, he's wagging now. I think we pissed him off. It started to thunder and lightning. We've got to make it back. Stem thought it's a good idea to go miles out. Man, we're getting soaked now, but we've got to help him safely. Man, we're still miles to go yet. <laughs> Camera, but it was thundering and lightning, and it was close. Go on, go on, go on, go on. So that was a success that we're still alive, and the boat actually went pretty good, but we failed because it did not go over 100 miles an hour how we hoped. I'm not really sure why. I'm gonna to have to do a bit more research. If any of you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. I'm guessing that we did not set the endpoints on these ESCs. I have to go through the instructions, have a look, get those endpoints set, and then we'll take it out again. Also, we're gonna to have to change out the servo for a waterproof one and put the receiver into a waterproof box. We're gonna put a bit of Loctite in here because these were coming loose. So if you wanna see round two, you wanna see if we can get this boat to go over 100 mile an hour, then make sure you subscribe and smash the bell so that you don't miss it. And for now, if you click on one of these videos here, I will see you over there in a minute.